what can you share about, um, you know, how do you support teachers and how do yeah. you get them to buy it if they're reluctant? Um, yeah, or don't, those are good questions. Ready to jump. <laughs> yeah. um, I haven't met a teacher yet who tried PBL and didn't like it, uh -huh. to be honest with uh -huh. you. Um, I think what they're hesitant on is how do you find time to do that work to really develop those good, meaningful projects? Mm -hmm. And then also, it's scary for teachers, I think, to step back and give up some of the control when they've been used to the one who is sure. leading the charge. Yeah. So um, one of the things I got to do in my coaching role was really I came in and co-taught with them. And just even having another person to bounce that those ideas mm -hmm. off with, that made a huge difference. Mm -hmm. um, so learning alongside. Yes, being, learning yeah, alongside, knowing you were supported, knowing mm -hmm. that you had somebody else there if you didn't know how to respond. Sure. I feel like that's where I made the biggest impact in terms of supporting other teachers with PBL. Um, but I also think it's having a conversation. So making mm -hmm. sure that I'm using it in my everyday language and talking about mm -hmm. it and sharing the work that my students have accomplished mm -hmm. um, and putting that out there uh, on Twitter in different formats just so that we can learn from each other. Mm -hmm. I think that's you. a missing yeah. piece is learning from each Absolutely. other and sharing. It's that sharing piece, that getting yeah. these good stories out there. Yeah. Um, or if you're facing a challenge, getting yeah. the challenges out there and seeing yeah. what your community might be able to offer in terms mm -hmm. of troubleshooting. It's all, I all agree. valuable. <laughs> it's all, you know, none of us has to go this alone. Yeah. So 